Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are making a video on Linux Mint vs Tpin. Before making a video, I am going to give you some note here. I am not going to recommend Deepin Linux. I never recommend Deepin Linux in my past videos or I am not going to do it in the future also. So if you want to go with the good distributions, always go with the well-known distributions or like a well-reputed distributions like a Fedora, Linux Mint, Debian. There are a lot of good distributions. So if you want to uh, choose like a deep in Linux, always try it in the virtual machine. And also most of my viewers doesn't like deep in. So it's clearly up to you if you are a new user or a new Linux user or like a new viewer on this channel. And also don't forget to use VPNs uh, like uh, in the router or maybe in the uh, like uh, application. So if you are using in the virtual machines like a deep in Linux in the virtual machine, always use the VPN application. But if you are using it in the host or like a main PC or work PC, always use the VPNs in the routers because we don't know about some privacy things. I don't have any proper information here. So that's the reason I never recommend these distributions. But if you still want to watch this video, you can watch this video. But I always recommend the most reputed distributions. I already said like few examples like a Fedora, Linux Mint, Debian, Ubuntu. There are a lot of good distributions which has like a lot of uh, community uh, people. There are a lot of people good to help you. So that was some information. So I'm just going to continue the video here. Linux Mint and Deepin are two prominent Linux distributions celebrated for their user friendly interfaces and robust performance. This comparison aims to provide a comprehensive analysis of both, assisting you in determining which aligns best with your requirements and preferences. Now let's talk about the introduction, the Linux debate, Linux Mint versus Tpin. Linux distributions, commonly referred to as distros, offer diverse environments tailored to various user needs. Among this, Linux Mint and Tpin have garnered attention for their accessibility and design. Linux Mint, originating from Ireland, is re-owned for its stability and a user experience, reminiscent of traditional desktop layout. Conversely, Deepin, developed in China, is acclaimed for its aesthetically pleasing interface and modern design philosophy. Now, let's look at Deepin, aesthetics and features. Deepin stands out with its visually appealing interface, characterized by a blur and transparent design that permits the OS, offering user an elegant and modern experience. Central to this is the Deepin desktop environment, which is DTE, which emphasizes simplicity and initiative navigation. Unique features include a dock that can be customized to mimic macOS, which is fashion mode or more traditional, which is efficient mode, catering to various user preferences. The control center, accessible via a sidebar, consolidates system settings into a unified, user-friendly panel. Deepin also boosts a well-designed app store, providing a plethora of applications that are easy to install and integrate seamlessly with the system. These attributes make Deepin particularly appealing to creative users and those who prioritize a polished and visual cohesive computing environment. Now let's take a look at Linux Mint reliability and stability. Linux Mint has established a reputation for its stability and ease of use, making it a preferred choice for both newcomers and seasoned Linux users. It offers a familiar desktop experience, especially for those transitioning from Windows with an interface that is both initiative and customizable. Mint comes pre-installed with a comprehensive suite of applications, including the Library Office Suite, Firefox web browser, and various multimedia tools, ensuring users have access to essential software from the outset. The Mint Update Manager is a standout feature providing users with a straightforward control over system updates and maintenance, thereby enhancing system reliability. Furthermore, being based on Ubuntu LTS, which is long-term support releases, Linux Mint benefits from a vast repository of software and strong community support, 
ensuring compatibility with a wide array of applications and hardware. Now, putting them head to head key comparison. First, let's look at the user interface and design. DeepIn offers a sleek, modern interface with its DDE, which is DeepIn Desktop Environment, focusing on aesthetics and user experience. Linux Mint provides a more traditional desktop layout, emphasizing functionality and familiarity. Now second, which is performance and stability. Linux Mint, based on Ubuntu LTS, is celebrated for its robustness and stability, making it suitable for users seeking a dependable system. Now Deepin, while visually impressive, has faced critics regarding its performance and resource usage which may be a consideration for users with older hardware. Now let's take a look at the third, which is software and package management. Both distributions offer extensive software repositories. Linux Mint utilizes the APT package manager and includes the Snaptic package manager for advanced users. Deepin provides its own app store with a curated selection of applications. Though some users have noted that it may not be as extensive as Mint's repositories. Now finally, let's look at the fourth, which is community and support. Linux Mint boosts a large, active community with numerous forums, tutorials, and a wealth of online resources, facilitating troubleshooting and user assistance. Deepin's community is growing, but resources and support may not be as readily available particularly in languages other than Chinese. Now let's look at the conclusion. Which distro suits you? Choosing between Linux Mint and Deepin hinges on your priorities. Opt for Linux Mint if you value stability, a traditional desktop experience and extensive community support. It's particularly well suited for users transitioning from Windows or those seeking a reliable workstation. Now consider Deepin if you prioritize a modern, visually appealing interface and are comfortable with a system that may require more resources. It's an excellent choice for users who appreciate design and are looking for an out-of-the-box aesthetically pleasing environment. Ultimately, both distributions have their unique strengths. Evaluating your specific needs and testing each through live sessions or virtual machines can provide practical insights aiding in making an informed decision. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.